I bought this Washingtonia Robusta uh, from B&M Bargains. I thought it was a bit of a bargain. It was, it was about £50. And I uh, got it home, very pleased with it. Um, it was a bit, bit root-bound. Managed to get it out of the pot. Um, and I decided to uh, to keep it in the pot because I was a bit worried about... Um, uh, what, what to do with it in the winter and digging it out from the garden I thought it would be a bit of an effort so I thought it would be much easier just to um, wheel the pot into the greenhouse now for the first week it was it was fine but in the second week we noticed it started to go a bit yellow and then it went really yellow <coughs> and we thought well Maybe it's it's potassium, uh, so we gave it a plant feed, uh, but still no joy. So I thought, well, I'll have it out and have a look, see what the problem is. And I had a quick sort through the roots to look for vine weevil. I couldn't see anything, and uh, then I thought I'd put a meter in it. And as you can see there, it's it was quite dry on the actual. A root ball at the top and uh, I tested the bottom and the, the bottom was the same and uh, I was I wasn't quite sure what to do because we had been watering it but it has been very hot so I was I'm always worried about over watering um, so what I did I, I, I put the meter in where I dug the plant out from in the pot and um, it said it was moist. So I was a bit confused about what was happening. Now, right at the bottom it was moist, but right at the top it was dry. Uh, what I did, I, I, I had a look on the internet and uh, looked some some plant experts in America and see what they decided. And uh, They seemed to say, be saying that the... Um, they actually don't mind it if it is a bit wet, but they don't like sitting in 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 water. So don't they, because of root rot, uh, they like they like it to be drained. So I thought, what I'll do, I'll I'll dig the pot right out, take all the soil out, um, and uh, here I am uh, having a, another check down at the bottom to see what it's what it's like. And sure enough, it's it was still wet, but. Um, what what I decided to do was was dig it out and put some um, pea shingle at the bottom to make sure that the bottom was fully drained and that uh, we could put we could water it a lot more but not worry about it um, uh, getting boggy at the bottom of the pot. I put in some fresh compost and um, also some of these chicken pellets because I thought well actually I didn't put any in before. And, uh, see if this will help boost him up and then I, I put him back in the pot now since we've been watering him a lot more um, the the leaves in the middle have uh, retained their greenness and he hasn't had any more yellowing but the the yellow leaves they won't they won't recover they once they've once they've stopped uh, the chlorophylls uh, stop working or whatever that, that they won't recover they'll eventually fall off but I think the lesson learnt is here that is it's not to be frightened of what of what of watering these uh, Washingtonias, um, and apparently they they don't mind um, if it is a bit wet. And uh, I, I, I just to make a confession, I I bought another one for for um, eighteen pounds, a smaller one, and I did the same to that when I took it out of the pot. It was really a bit too dry, even though I had been watering it. I was just nervous of. Um, uh, of overwatering it and in fact uh, was damaging it through drought.